In order to enable the text-to-speech features on the iPad, you need to go to your settings, which is the gear wheel. In the gear wheel, you're going to find general, which is not very far down. And then about halfway down the page, you tap on accessibility. And then about one, two, three, four, fifth choice is speech. You'll want to make sure, and I'll turn it off, but the speak selection is on and the speak screen is on. And I like highlighted content. Um, voices, you have choices, but keep it easy for English. And this is where you can also adjust the speed. In order to get the speak selection, usually it needs to be like an article. But you're going to take your finger and hold it down. And then I could expand that. And then once I tap on speak, it will speak those words to me. For speak screen, pull your two fingers from the top middle down to access the speak screen window. If you're in something like Schoology and you want to access the text-to-speech features, I'm going to go ahead and turn on speak screen. Notice WH7 Essentials. So if you do speak screen, it will start at the top of the page and you may not need that. So you can tap forward. Skills pre. Comic questions 149 inches of Notice how it taps it Part forward. 1. Identify and evaluate primary and secondary sources. Question 1. One point. You can tap forward. Sorry, it will shrink to the side if you use the arrow. The X will close it. You can make it faster with the bunny or slower with the turtle. Um, not a whole lot of success. It will sometimes do the back, but basically you'll want this to, in general, read it to you. You may want certain passages, though, just like for this answer, if you want it repeated, if you just want that repeated, use the speak selection. Use your finger to select that and then just tap speak. A very famous anthropologist. So using a combination of the speak screen and the speak selection will allow you to have text-to-speech enabled on your iPads.